Hello and welcome to Pivik Pro YouTube video series. Topic of the video Introduction to Pivik Pro Customer Data Platform, so called CDP. So, what we're gonna learn? We'll define CDP and then outline its fundamental principles and overall functionality. At the same time, we'll explore how CDP can benefit your business or organization. Okay, let's dive in. And so, Pivik Pro Customer Data Platform unifies and centralizes customer data from various sources, various platforms into single profile, making it available for integration with other marketing technologies, sort of like a one-stop hub where all customer data comes together ready to power your marketing tools. Each parameter, each piece of information from the vast number of different platforms could contribute, could enrich all your user profiles. Having data on many different user profiles, you can then group your users into audiences based on CDP's powerful audience conditions. In other words, you can describe different types of users using specific characteristics and specific behavior to create audiences. Thanks to that, you'll be able to provide the right offer to the right audience, taking the right action for the audience where you can get the most impact, no matter what is your business or organizational profile. In some respects, CDP may seem like CRM platform, but it's not quite like it. CRM helps you manage interactions and build relationships and is designed primarily for customer-facing teams, while CDP collects, cleans, and unifies data and makes it available to all different platforms. And most importantly, it allows for automated data activation. And in that respect, it facilitates data sharing with every platform and with everyone within your organization. But let's get back to audiences and illustrate the ways in which we could group them and examples of how we could potentially activate them before we get into more details. And so you could have audience of luxury spenders. You would make sure that the luxury spenders will get exclusive access before the launch of your big product or a special treatment that they expect and are happy to pay extra. Attract them with the marketing messages via email or website or via advert or even within the mobile app. Then another audience could be value seekers for which the approach could be vastly different across all of your marketing platforms. You would inform them about the seasonal sales prompt them to complete their purchase should they abandon their shopping cart, or perhaps offer a little discount, something they might be more inclined to respond. You would also use appropriate language in your advertisement and landing pages to emphasize value for money. Moreover, you could create audience of prospects and ensure that they are not being conflated with the existing clients, all to prevent wasting money on advertising to current clients and ensure prospects receive the right message to become clients. Build trust through testimonials, invite them to target webinars and serve exclusive content on the features or products that they actually seek all across different marketing platforms instead of giving them generic for all messages. All that can be done if we embrace the power of CDP data activations. But how do we do that? Step one would be to start with data collection and syncing data across the systems, or perhaps undergoing an initial overview of platforms to see what we would want to sync. In fact, the great thing about Pivot Pro CDP is that it gives you the advantage of having access to data that you collect on your website and access to Tag Manager out of the box. Just that data on its own could in many cases be powerful enough to activate your audiences for your profit maximization. So analytics dimensions and custom dimensions, interactions on your website can be used right away as their visitor is still on your website, providing you with the opportunities for content personalization. Moreover, CDP's data can be always in sync thanks to Webhooks technology through instant sync of data between CDP and other systems, making sure you have timely data in your CDP. Step 2. Creating an activation plan by identifying places throughout the user journey where a little nudge or personalized message or just a reminder within the online product, website or an app could make a huge impact and help the user complete the journey and achieve desired for your organization outcome. This could be achieved by getting them back on a path or altering the path because let's say they need different approach. Like for example, you would normally not treat the business accounts the same way as you treat personal accounts. Business accounts may require customer service, whereas personal accounts just a self-service. But let's take a different and more concrete example. So imagine a situation where the visitor comes to our website and views the product that was on a sale because say we have a stock clearance. Some of them will purchase the product right away. 
Some of them may have got, say, interrupted and abandoned the shopping cart. We could come up with different ways in how we could handle such an abandoned cart. Either by sending retargeting emails, sending them to retargeting audience in the online advertising platform, push notification in the mobile app if we have an app, perhaps just remind them about the abandoned cart next time when they are on the website. All that to increase the probability of product purchase. Now, important part, after coming up with the activation plan, it's probably worthwhile to come back and revisit step one and see if there's no missing data that we would need for the audience activations. Speaking of which, the next step is to create audiences, i.e. conditions by which we're going to select users to be added to the audience for the purpose of activation. We're going to come back to the activation, but let's expand a bit on the audiences first. Audiences is where all your data is at your fingertips, ready to be used. Leveraging attributes from various systems within the marketing stack enables for creation of comprehensive audiences profiles. Let's go through some of the conditions that could be used to segment your audience. So, you could select users from specific industry who subscribed to your newsletter or just gave you the permission to send them email. So, you know that you can activate them via email. Use lead score from your CRM to ensure that they will be activated at the right time of the sales process. Target your mobile app users with no effort based on their recent activity. And those are just the examples of attributes that could be used as conditions. Moreover, you can utilize the event's conditions to assess the level of interest and specify the recency of interactions, ensuring timely engagement. For example, search on your website and how many times user was searching for a certain item or a product in recent days or even minutes. Or visits to a particular content on your website in the last, say, few days. The best part is, most of these types of events, interactions, are tracked out of the box. By leveraging fresh, real-time data, you can activate users when they are most receptive. Remember, the data has an expiry date. What's priceless today could be useless tomorrow. CDP lets you turn timely interactions into powerful, immediate results. Additionally, events conditions allow you to quantify the value of some interactions, like go conversions, purchases, or perhaps total revenue from a given user. What's more, this enables you to tailor your approach to each audience appropriately, ensuring that the high-priority customers receive premium engagement, premium treatment, while value-conscious customers get the cost-effective solution they seek maximizing satisfaction across all segments. Okay, but how do we use such audiences? How do we activate data? First of all, you can activate your data by using Pivot Pro Tag Manager, and that on its own could be very powerful. But what do I mean by using Tag Manager? You can use regular Tag Manager triggers and provide additional trigger conditions for when the visitor belongs to a certain audience. Effectively, it means that you could personalize the content on the website while the visitor is still on the website, or the next time they're back. Like for example, serving a banner or a pop-up, but not some generic banner. You could choose what banner is shown, what image, what text, based on the audience that visitor belongs to. And then perhaps show the banner based on the tax triggers conditions. So that could be anything from the page view to very specific click. Not only that, Using Tag Manager with CDP opens up some new possibilities to track all kinds of engagement for the analytics. Having access to audience conditions that spans not only across single visit, but also across multiple visits. This could vastly improve the engagement measurement on your website. Okay, but activations is obviously so much more. It's because you could activate your audience across entire marketing stack and beyond. Send email or entire sequence of emails to a specific audience based on their interest that was indicated on their recent website visit. Send push notification via mobile app to the same audience at the same time with your email. Or create similar audience where the push notification will have three-day delay if you want to drip feed your nudges. After all, sometimes it's not about the messages, but about the right timing. You can send automated Slack messages to your sales team informing them that a given user lead score made them worthwhile their attention. Automate sending conversions to Google Ads. Pivot Pro lets you send conversions without the need of using any Google tags. This might be especially handy when your organization operates in a privacy-restrictive environment or market and you want to have control over what is sent to Google. 
Moreover, you could create all different customer lists in Google Ads and automatically send or remove contact details to each one of them using built-in CDP template. All that while respecting customer consent. That said, you could be sending contact details to any advertising platforms using webhooks. And these are just few examples of how you could activate your data across all your marketing stack. In fact, by creatively using automation tools, you can implement a variety of automation flows across your organization entire technology stack. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to our channel. Check the description below to find some useful links like free Pivik Pro signup page, community forum page, and links to related videos. Until next time.